Tomorrow's the day. 3,000 miles, 500 mile range, world's first E-Rev Lightning. Let's go. Ruby is cleaned up. She's ready for the trip. We've got the generator mounted. I'm going to show you a couple things on how we did this. I'm going to show you what charger we're using. This should be epic. We are going to run 3,000 miles from Kansas to Florida and back with generator on a, on a receiver hitch mount. We're expecting at 70 mile an hour, 500 miles of range. We're going to run all the way to Florida tomorrow, which has never been done in this truck. I usually can't make it that far. Uh, I've done this trip many times. Uh, so. Ruby's cleaned up. She's ready to go. Brand new uh, Aturo AZ600 tires should be really efficient. We badge the truck. E-Rev Lightning. So this is a Ford 28,000 watt tri-fuel. Uh, it's actually made by Pulsar. Uh, this one will put out 28,000 peak, 20,000 continuous watts. So a really nice generator. Yes, it's loud. Yes, it's heavy, but at 70 miles an hour, it's about 76 dB inside the cab, up from about 73 uh, when it's stock. So it's not terrible. You do hear it running, but it's not terrible. We've actually mounted this generator on a really heavy hitch mount, hitch receiver mount, uh, two inch square tubing that's a quarter wall. Uh, it has a, bra a brace that runs all the way through the center. It's got huge angle iron brackets underneath. And then there's rubber isolated mounted in six spaces to try to keep the NVH down. Um, uh, this generator has two plugs that run to it. We are actually routed ours through the tailgate. So on this test, we've actually taken the inner panel off and routed it up through the tailgate. And for this test, we actually have the Ford Charge Station Pro running at full amperage. So we're running at 80 amp. We did uh, have to run 240 amp connectors into the EVSC tied at the point of connection. Those are all heavy, heavy solder joints, so that's good there. There's two 50 amp connectors capable, and they're gonna be pulling about 40 amps each, so it should be good and safe. So custom hitch carrier, a couple of things that we've done. Uh, we've done the turnbuckles to keep side to side its way down, so it doesn't really, you know, if you look, it moves a little, but not much. We've got an anti-rattle uh, hitch clamp in the back is like 15 bucks on mcmastercar.com this this truck is a 23 lariat extended range has max tow has all the options so this is a fully loaded 100 loaded up truck this trip will be uh the first time that a lightning has driven on the highway at full charge rate 19.2 kilowatt be about 18.3 after you get through the losses uh, sticks out about 32 inches or so so it's not it's not terrible you do feel it on the back of the truck bouncing just ever so slightly it's not annoying um, much less than you would with a trailer to do a couple of things you have to relocate your tag because you can't see it on the truck and then we did a magnetic tag light um, that's wired in with heat shrink tubing and, and marine grade cables there so that you could actually be legal uh, it's a 1000 cc motor Dual exhaust ports out the right-hand side, so it'll be very similar to what you would have on a gas truck. Yes, for so, those of you who are not familiar with this, is it crazy to take an electric pickup truck and have to hang a big generator off the back to give you range? Sure. For the rest of the year, when you're not wanting to drive a gas truck, you can take the generator off, sit it in the garage, use it for backup at the house, rent one, lots of options there, and you're just driving an electric pickup that has a normal 320-mile range on your daily commute. So this truck will do, is very capable of being able to do all the things that that uh, that every other electric truck can, but now you have that Silverado EV range, well, which is what Ford should have done. And rather than canceling this truck, the Lightning E Rev, which they say they're going to do, but the Lightning E Rev should have been a removable generator like this, in my opinion. So we like and subscribe this video if you guys think this is going to be cool. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this something that you would consider? Uh, EverDrive is going to be a game changer for long distance uh, road trips with a Lightning. Uh, towing, less of an impact with the generator, just like it is uh, with electric trucks. So you're still going to cut your range in half, but it will help. If you have any of those situations where you're worried about range anxiety, you don't know if you're going to make it to the charger, this totally eliminates that. You don't ever have to worry about not making it because this truck at about 40 miles an hour, has a has an unlimited range it will consume the same amount of power that the generator's putting in so as long as you keep gas in the generator you can run as long as you want you don't have to stop you don't no worries about getting stuck the generator has a 17 gallon gas tank 
we're hoping between two and three gallons per per hour burn rate. So this generator right now is on sale at Lowe's for like twenty eight hundred bucks. You combine that with a uh, an eight hundred dollar EVSC plus uh, plus an uh, EverDrive kit. Prices to come on that soon, uh, spring of spring to summer of 2026. As soon as we get all of our sourcing and funding and and connectors and stuff located and allocated, have, you'll have for around five thousand, six thousand dollars, an option to drive your Lightning almost 500 miles, over 500 miles if you're running 65 miles an hour. So, all of our testing is going to be real world conditions. None of this trying to do a thousand miles at 26 miles an hour. Uh, that that is not not what we're about. Guys don't drive their trucks in real world at 62 miles an hour because they're trying to make it. You'd like to be able to drive your truck like a regular gas F-150. So that's our target. That's our goal. Real world conditions. Let me know what you think.